Hello everyone. So my name is Vipul Jain and in this video I am going to talk about how you can create image carousel in Power Apps. So it's a very common requirement that uh, you want to have an image carousel kind of functionality or an image slider to be very precise where you want to have this left arrow, right arrow kind of navigation and you also want that within fixed duration, maybe within four seconds or five seconds, this images rotate automatically. So that's the intent of this video. And uh, what we are going to do uh, in this video is that I'm going to tell you step by step that how you can create image carousel in Power Apps. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a collection of images on the invisible property of the screen add an image control and so on. So let's see this in action and let me navigate directly to the Power Apps Studio. This is the output which we are uh, intending here that you can see uh, on my screen that the images are scrolling in an interval of five seconds, the duration which I have set it up. So that is the kind of image carousel which I'm going to showcase today in this video. So let's see this in action. So for this particular implementation, we'll go step by step as per this PPT, uh, what I have written, that create a collection of images on the on visible property of the screen. This is the first step. So you can see here, this is my home screen or the landing screen where I have added a button, navigate to the image carousel screen. When I click on this, I can see the image carousel. So by that, what I mean on the screen one, on the on visible property, I'll navigate to the on visible property. On the on visible property, I have created some uh, collections and variables. So you can see I have created a collection clear collect. IMG collection is the collection name. And these are some of the image links which I have taken from internet. I have taken these links from a very good website which is having free photos which you also can use which is pixum.photos. From here, I have taken these images of the image and the dimension of that image and its name. So that is how I've created, first of all, the collection. And another thing is I have created a variable uh, using update context. Current image is one, which actually sets the order uh, of the image that the how the images are going to be displayed in the carousel. So this is the first step, which I have showed you now. Now coming to the second step, add an image control. Now coming back to here, I added a image control. You can see here, this is the image control, which I have added. And for this image control, what you have to do is in the image in the image property of this image control precisely i have added a function you can see here lookup in the collection which i have created and order is current image order could be one two three four which i showed you in the invisible uh, on visible property of the screen so this is the second step so you have to add an image control and set the image property of that control now coming to the third step, add left and right arrows. Again, this is very important, a very important requirement in any kind of a kind of slider or carousel that you want to have the uh, left navigation and right navigation so that user can click on these arrows and images can be rotated. So for this, I have added uh, two icons, icon uh, left arrow and icon right arrow. And on the on select properties of these icons, which is the right arrow and the left arrow, I am uh, creating a variable or you can say precisely updating a variable, the current image variable. So if it is right arrow, I am incrementing the image, the image by one, you can see current image plus one. And if it, if it has reached the maximum order, then it should start from one. It should start from the beginning. That's what I'm doing here in the uh, right arrow. And similarly, in the left arrow, uh, I have to decrement, I have to decrease that variable by one. So I'm doing current image minus one. So that is how I have implemented these two arrows for the left and right navigation. So this part also is done. Next is add a blank horizontal gallery and add a circle shape in that gallery. So now you can see here, if I show you the output, you can see small circles over here. So for that, how I've implemented it, I have added a blank gallery, a blank horizontal gallery. And inside that gallery, I have added uh, a circle shape, circle shapes in this inside the gallery. And for this circle shape, the uh, on the on select, because I have to set that how it should move. So on the on, uh, on select of the circle, I am again updating the variable, which is current image 
this item dot order so that is how i have implemented these circles and you can see these are uh, basically rotating in every 5 seconds and that is the last part of this video which i wanted to talk about that is the timer control which is hidden on this screen i have made the visible property of the timer control is hidden but definitely we are using a timer control also in this image carousel one important thing about this circle that you might be thinking that how it is coming to be a grayish or a smoke kind of color and when it is highlighted black so how it is happening so you can see here uh, there might be some fill or not the fill yeah so the fill property the fill property of the circle if this item dot order is current image then the color of that circle will be black else it will be white smoke color so you can see here if this image is selected the color uh, of the circle is black and when you rotate it let's say i rotate it uh, it comes to be again to be black because this image is selected and the other circles you can see are of maybe grayish or white smoke color that's what i have used here this is another thing in this image carousel now coming to the last part of this video that how we are adding the auto rotation in this image carousel that i have already told you that i have used a timer control so here you can see i have used a timer control also which is basically hidden you can see the visible property is off but the most important thing is the properties of this timer we should understand that the first property is duration so you can see here it is showing 5000 it is in milliseconds so in seconds it is 5 seconds so essentially what will happen that in every 5 seconds and this is configurable you can make it 4 seconds as per your requirement so essentially what will happen that this is the duration in which this image carousel or the images will rotate by themselves using this timer control now in this timer control one property is duration other properties also i wanted to show you is uh, let's say there is property called on timer end on timer end in the on timer end property what i'm doing i am again uh, updating that the same variable current image if current image equal to max then current image plus 1 that is how the on timer end property is working and similarly there is one more property which is uh, start the start property that when it is going to start i am using a variable for this i am using a variable timer go now coming back to the uh, first uh, implementation what we did the on visible property i want you to go back to the on visible property so let's say this is screen 1 i want to go back to the on visible property you see here i am creating one more variable which is timer go and setting its default value as true all right so whenever uh, whenever my timer control is there so this is the timer control and uh, at the same time on the left and right arrows so if i talk about left and right arrows i am also updating this variable timer go as false or true so these are the things which i used for this image carousel impl implementation i think this will be very helpful uh, for the landing pages or the home pages Uh, in your implementations or client projects so this is a very good use case or scenario which definitely you can implement in power apps thank you